Hey everyone, I'm Tina and I'm a quilt works junkie. Today we're going to talk about the coral reef and the cutting of it. Judy, this is Judy's newest technique of the month and an absolutely stunning quilt. I have some of my fabrics here today and I will be shopping for more in our store to complete my selections. So let's dive in and look at the pattern instructions and the cutting information. We are going to start off with the introduction booklet and go over a few things in it. I'm going to be using the booklet for the queen version, but if you're doing the wall version, many things will be the same. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our book over and we're going to look at the back of the book. On the back is your size, it'll either say queen or wall, and a diagram of the finished quilt. If you haven't colored your quilt in Quiltster you, or got one of our kits, you can use this diagram to color your quilts. There is an endless number of block options for this quilt, and all that I have seen are just absolutely beautiful. I think I've already added many of them to my bucket list. At the bottom of the back is a printed date. That's the date that this pattern was printed on, and a QR code. You can use your iPhone or any phone to scan your QR code and this will take you directly to the website for Quilt Works. There you can find if there's any uh, corrections that you can, to the pattern, you look at the date and look at the correction list and it'll tell you what corrections you might need. They can be intimidating because there are so many colorways, but it's important to note any corrections to cutting or sewing. And so now on to the front of the booklet. You'll see that the coral reef is broken down into six pattern groups. These are all different booklets and will be, and each booklet will give instructions for a group of blocks that will make up the coral reef. Opening the booklet, you'll find the general information, supply list, common tools and terms, teaching techniques, and a bit about the foundation papers and the different blocks. Each of these little booklets are going to give instructions for a different section of the, of the quilt. So on page five, there's a, there's a color alternative information. You'll see that there are many color options for each group, and we'll try to address them here on this video. The next few pages give you information on the colorways of the coral reefs, illustrated on the booklet covers. You also have a place to write in your quilt. These are the different covers that are in your packet. The Tonga Play, the Basil, the Dear Stella, the Hoffmans, the Batiks, and the Cape. And then here's your quilt. Over here, you'll see a colorway graphic. And this shows you where the fabrics are going to be, depending on which option you use. And it goes on to the different sections of the um, of the coral reef and you'll see again the the different color ways that you're going to use the alternates okay so page 12 has general sewing information and general cutting information there's a chain piecing example and a curved piecing example when you're sewing your groups and units together you'll see the trp lines transition transition registration points boy that's a tongue twister and you'll want to make sure you mark these lines with basting stitches because they're going to make your units go together so much easier. Everything will line up on your curved piecing and everyone will be happy. The introduction booklets will have directions for the general assembly of the quilt. So you'll see here your exploded layouts and each section that you've been making and how they all go together. And you'll see the little TRP points here and that shows you how each unit goes together. And it'll go on and tell you the assembly graphics. It'll tell you about pressing, which ways to press so that your um, quilt lays really nice. And here's another picture of the, uh, of the diagram of the coral wreath and that you can color in here. So now that we've gone through a few key points of the instruction booklet. We're going to dive into booklet number one. And I on that is the queen version 
is going to be group K and your uh, wall version is your group G. Both of these versions is your border piece. That will be the first thing you'll be making. So on here, your first, um, on your book, it's going to list your newsprints. These are the um, templates for cutting and for laying it out. There's also a section for your bags. As you cut things, you'll be putting them into bags and there'll be bag number uh, K1, K2, K3, and each booklet will have this, this uh, information. and It'll tell you which, what goes in what bag so that that way that's your sewing group to start with. It will also have illustrations of the, the uh, template sheets. So when you go in here, then you'll have a list of your fabric layouts. And you'll have your cutting instructions for each one, for each fabric in this border. There'll be an illustration to show the fabric placement up here. And these will be the fabric colors. Like if you're going to do your border in different colors, here we'll list the K2, A, B, C, D. That's your different colors for that, um, for that grouping. So you'll have, up here, you'll always have a, a graphic to see what it's going to look like. Then you'll start cutting. On this um, fabric graphic, you can add in a little swatch if you would like. I usually do that because it helps me remember which fabrics are, are going for that, for that grouping. And if you did your, your uh, coral reef and quiltster, the printout will also show the fabrics corresponding to this fabric chart. If you purchase the um, block of the month, or the um, coral reef kit from Stitch in Heaven. The fabrics will have individual booklets or will have individual labels that will reference each fabric number and the size to cut the strips. The cutting instructions will be in order. Our first one, you're gonna take fabric K1. And K1, it'll tell you to cut strips. See K1 over here is 49 and a half inch piece of fabric. That's going to be subcut into four 11 and a half by 42 or with the fabric. And then it will also give you the layout and how to stack your fabric right side up and how to put the templates on your fabric once you've got it cut into the strips. It's also going to indicate your TRP lines. You can see those there. And as you're cutting, it will tell you when to sew in the TRP lines, and then you'll move on to the next one. Next one will be fabric two, K, fabric two, fabric K2A, and this will be some of your strip piecing. So that's gonna be our border. And so now we're gonna go to the next booklet in this group, which is uh, group J, and the wall quilt will not have a group J or a group H. So this one here will be uh, for the queen version. The booklet instructions are broken into color groups for your fabric selection. There will be either one color group, two color group, four color group, or eight color groups. And they've got them listed here to tell you how those in your yardage chart information. This one also has your Ziploc bags that you're going to be putting your, your um, pieces in after they're cut. And then we go over here. And this is where we get into the alternative cutting directions. It will show you a diagram of your fabrics. Like this arch here is going to be in nine different fabrics. And so you've got them listed here. It will also show you how to, to stack your strips when you're cutting different color ones. It will give you the directions for one color group. You're going to have eight strips from each color two color groups, and it'll, so on and so forth, will tell you each one. And then as you, if, if you're using a different alternate group, you're going to be turning and going over here. This is the alternative one cutting. This is the alternative two cutting, depending on how you have colored your quilt. And then it goes on to tell you about how to stack the fabric and how to sew it together. Each of these booklets will have an alternative color option for the coral reef, but if you take your time, 
read through the instructions, and follow the illustrations, you'll enjoy the process and end up with a stunning creation. I truly hope that this video has helped with some of your coral reef questions about understanding the pattern. Well, I hope everyone has truly enjoyed this video and maybe have a little better understanding of the way the coral reef is cut, laid out, and um, if you have any questions about it, give me a call. I'm here at Stitch in Heaven. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and um, YouTube. That's where we're at right now. So um, give me a call. I would love to see your coral reef creations. Send us a picture. I will send you a picture of mine. We will be posting that when I get it done. We're going to be doing a retreat at the end of the month. And so hopefully I'll get, get to doing some of that. And become a quilt work junkie, just like me. Thank you.